Hi there, and welcome to today's Quentin Carpenter the Nature of Flowers Photoshop video. Today I'm going to show you how to make one of these double double tessellated patterns using a photograph of a flower. You can see it creates this sort of circular effect reminiscent of the work I've been doing with the flower of life. Um, to do this, I'll talk you through it step by step and nice and simply. So, you need to be in Photoshop, you need to have a photograph of a flower. You need to go to the Move tool and you need to go to Edit, Transform. You need to make sure you haven't locked the layer first. So you go to Edit, Edit, Transform, Scale, and we're looking at 50% wide and high. So we tick the little box in the middle and it will automatically make it 50%. We then scale it down to fit into the corner. And we'll see a pink line appearing when we know it's in the right place. Now, to do this, we then need to copy and rotate and tessellate our image. So we go to duplicate layer, click OK. We move our layer over and line it up so that it's in line with the other one. And we get a little pink line to show that we've done it. So then we go to edit, transform and flip horizontal. We've now got two layers. We can then click on both of the layers with, by pressing shift, right click and merge the layers. Once we've done this, we are going to go to right click, duplicate the layer again. This time we're going to move it up so that it fills the top of the page. We get the pink line knowing it's in the right place. We then go to edit, to transform, and we flip vertical. And we now have our first tessellation, okay? We're going to merge the layers together again, so we're going to right click on both of them, merge the layers, so we've got one layer with all of the flowers on. Now we want to turn it around, but we also want to make the canvas bigger so that it fits when we turn it around. So we're going to go to image, we're going to go to canvas size, and we're going to make sure that the width and the height, both in this case say 30 centimeters, and we click OK. We then need to duplicate the layer one more time. And this time we need to go to Edit, Transform and Rotate 90 degrees. And you can see we've now turned it 90 degrees on itself. This is really cool. And we can use Opacity to make it see through. Or we could use Overlay, which I think gives a better effect. It makes it more vivid with the colors showing through. Once we've done that, we then need to merge these two layers together. So right click, merge layers. And to get to the finishing touch, we need to duplicate that layer. Click OK. And once we have done that, we go to Edit, transform rotate and we need to turn it 45 degrees which creates this effect we then need to go to our overlay and overlay it on top and you can now see we have got our beautiful circular pattern made out of the flowers it's an amazing thing and if i zoom in slightly by pressing control plus you can see that beautiful effect now we could choose to crop it, we could choose to add a background to it, it's up to us. If we did want to move the background to it, this is how I would do that. I would merge the two layers together again. I would then add a new layer, make sure that's underneath, and I would bucket fill it with black so that I've got a nice black border on it. And there you go. Have fun making double double tessellated patterns. Obviously we could keep doing this forever, and with lots of different pictures, but I'm really pleased with how that's turned out. If you like it, obviously come over to Nature of Flowers and hit the subscribe button and give it a thumbs up. Okay, thanks for watching and enjoy making your own examples. Okay, thank you very much and goodbye.